Oh, Papa Bear's already got the diesel running. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Here we go. doing good though. We got 740 miles on this truck this trip and uh, we're delivering another one and picking up another one. or actually two. Uh, so everybody's going to want to know what the game plan is. This is the game plan. We are heading out to Milwaukee area. We're going to drop this car off and we're going to do a visit to my customer. This would be the fourth car that he's bought from me in the last almost year. Uh, check up on the other cars that I sold them. See if he'll give us a little tour. And then we're going to head south uh, tomorrow and pick up or attempt to pick up the two that we've really come here for. One of them, excuse me, is a German car, Mercedes Benz, that I've never had one of these in my life before. W126 platform, 500 SEL. And the prize of the, the group, I think at least is a 1997 Lincoln Town Car. You're gonna wanna see the mileage on this car. It's absolutely insane. So we're gonna hit the road. That's the sign right there. Wisconsin welcomes you, baby. Yeah. Have we been here before? We got 1,045 miles. And the check engine light went out. Self-healing. Another 70 bucks in diesel, but... We've gone quite a distance. We started at uh, 5.30 this morning. It's 9.40, although it's technically 8.40 because we went back in time. 1,066 miles. And we're like 10 minutes uh, from my customer's house who bought this Cadillac. And I think, I'm not sure what his setup is. I think it might be who of me take this off now while we got a big spot and some lights and every time I get rid of one of these cars I always say I'm gonna miss it <laughs> never gonna get another one like it 29,000 mile car this is a really nice car this car still smells new inside Bye, Cadillac Seville. You're gonna live a great life here. Yeah. Well, this kind of turned into a little bit of a surprise. One of the things that I did, yeah, that's crazy. One of the things that I did to plan this trip was I was carefully watching the snow where we live, and I was carefully watching the snow in Chicago. It had been on and off, on and off all week, and it looked clear hammering it down, talked to both my my customers and contacts, and we got here, we dropped off, that's the villa, and it just started snowing as we pulled up to his house. We went inside, we talked for a couple hours, and we came out, and now it's like this. Roads are covered. Well, <laughs> this didn't work out like you thought it was gonna. The old diesel pulled her way through the snow. We got rid of the Seville met a customer who I've only talked to on the phone a couple times. Super nice guy. So now we have a spot to put a car tomorrow. Lincoln Town Car, Mercedes Benz. What are we gonna take? Look at, we just drove this in. Uh, 1,100 plus miles? 1,133 miles. Look how clean it looks though. I love this truck. I just wish you had a bigger cab. Wasn't supposed to snow out. 
Oh, the old diesel. Time to go to bed. Holy mother of cold. Yuck. <laughs> we weren't expecting this at all. And obviously, we're from New England where it snows out. And we don't have a snow shovel or a snow broom or anything to clean this thing off. It's on the bed cover. It's on the trailer. We're going to let natural wind take the snow. But we turn the truck, the truck so that the sun is beating on the windshield. I didn't bring any cold weather. Because who goes to Chicago this time? Made it. Yes, we have. That is the garage. Oh boy. I'm gonna. I'm almost thinking of putting my boots on. But... Boots? You wearing friggin' slippers, Dad? No, no, no. You don't have slippers. It's slippers. No, he's getting me around. You're wearing old man slippers. No, no, old man shoes. Tell me, people, are those old man slippers? We're in the Arctic Tundra. I barely have the right boot on. Look at this. Kind of I wasn't thing. expecting snow today. <laughs> we weren't expecting snow. I'll give you that. Let's see. What's behind garage door number one or behind garage door number two? This is one or this is one? Left is one. Left is one? Is okay. Two. What's right behind garage door number one then? What would you say is behind that? I'd say... A nice Lincoln Town Car. And you would be right. Really? This yeah, is was, uh, 1997 uh, Lincoln Town Car. This car is the lowest mileage Lincoln Town Car I have ever seen. I'll let y'all take a guess of the mileage. Heated leather. JBL sound. Beautiful black leather interior. No cell phone. Factory sunroof. Compass. Even, <laughs> even with the mileage that this guy has, these are still broken. Black cloth top. And are you Italian? I'm Italian, yeah. yeah. So you're the best of both worlds, you young man. Yeah, I really am. <laughs> I tell people that. Yeah, good mix. They've been there, both, both, all my children have been over to Europe. To see what Original Michelin XW4s. Beautiful paint stripe. I'll light this up in a minute. So here we are, we're in Grays Lake, Illinois, and I got this call back in November. Uh, just timing wasn't right with the holidays, COVID running rampant. Um, so we just came out here now 
to take a look at this Lincoln Town car. This Lincoln Town car is a one owner car, uh, bought new um, by the husband of the original owner. And he bought this for his wife and she loves the car, but didn't feel comfortable driving the car because of where they live. So she bought it cheap. Factory key, the jewel key with the fob. We are at 3,998 miles. Yeah, suspension works. That's good. And we are not gonna start this car. I am buying this car unrunning because I do not wanna pump what's probably really, really old fuel through this car. <sighs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's a ripe one. She's a ripe one, eh? This is in Vice Grip Garage over here. This is uh, <laughs> Anthony and Popovich's Town Car Rescue Program. Wow, Roto, Arlington Heights. So this is a 3,998 mile, 1997 Lincoln Town Car Signature Series. Original touring wheels, XW4 tires. I know all you purists are gonna hate this cloth top, but it is mint. I mean, the stitching, Everything is beautiful on this car. The date of the manufacture was 10 of 96. So this was an early 97. This car, yeah, this car was 10 of 96. This car might have a lighted rear light bar. Ha, look at that. Lighted rear light bar. 10? 10 of 96, so this was a very early 96. Look at that. And look at the glisten off those lenses. Lighted rear bar. Yeah. I don't even know what this color is. It's like a beautiful gray. charcoal-y gray. That bulb is out. <laughs> Bring it back to Ford. The only one downfall with this car. We just noticed it when we opened the garage door is this. We're hoping this is fresh because they pushed it out to show me the car. I'm hoping I can get back, heat that up, and take that distortion up. But look at the lenses, 3,900 miles under the hood. You know, all the fittings, very minor little spots of surface rust on like these stainless, I think, bands. But, I mean, the coolant, I mean, look at this stuff. It has the original intake in it. This car has probably had no you know, that was a recall, definitely wasn't done. But I don't see any really signs of mice. Paint on the hood is nice. No oxidation or bubbling, that's just a piece of dust. Beautiful windshield. I feel so bad for this car because this car, if we take this car home, Dad, we're driving this car back 1,100 miles on an open car trailer. Oh, my goodness. Open car trailer. Oh, look at this thing, huh? This is gorgeous. I've never seen another one like that. And here it is. Yeah. Well, I can literally say this is a barn find. I gotta go find the lights. I forget where they are. This car is so clean. It is. Uh, it and it really does have 180,000 miles. 
That is unbelievable. Well, these tires are may pops. These things are will pops. Yeah, definitely. Spare tails. Oh, somebody's already been in here replacing the fuel pump. Well, the seat looks like it's been moved. This is a fuel pump. Yeah. That's the cover to it. So I am going to assume we are not getting this car started today. Unless somebody already replaced it. Dad kept this car in good shape for the mileage. He was the only driver, you know. I mean, my mom occasionally would drive, but my dad would always service his car. That wasn't the issue. Yeah. That wasn't his thing. No. There's a piece of turn in here. See that? There's a fuel pump. I'm not too sure what that goes to. Can you keep moving back there at all? Not really. No. How you doing back there, Pops? Cold. Well, Cold, yeah. And this guy's looking to go in. That's probably yeah. one of his nephews or something. And you're wearing slippers. Yeah. I think it's a better idea to leave that Mercedes. So part of the deal was to take that Mercedes back with us. Um, you know, he included that. But I just, unfortunately, I'm going to have to pass on the Mercedes. Uh, it just needs too much to get that car going again. And I'm not a Mercedes guy. Um... It's a 1984 Mercedes-Benz uh, 500 SEL, one owner car. Got the original window sticker. The cost for me to get the car out of here uh, would be too great. It, it really would be. Um, you know, I'm probably looking at, I don't know, seven or $800 to tow an inoperable vehicle out of here, uh, back home. It's had fuel lines and brake lines that someone tinkered on. I think he said it was his nephew, maybe. Didn't even know. And I, I get it. Uh, there's pieces missing from under the hood. The, the snorkel, the air cleaner, the fuel pump's hanging out of it. It's just, it's not going to work for me. Um, you know, I think that car on its best day is maybe a $5,000 car uh, with the mileage on it. For me to tow it out there, it's just not worth it after I put money into it. I'd have to pay a Mercedes mechanic to um, service the car. And if I had to pay a Mercedes mechanic to service it, I'm going to probably pay two or $3,000 in fixing it. It would really be just saving it. So unfortunately, I'm going to leave the Mercedes here. I still have to pay the same price for this Lincoln. But I'm here. Um... The Mercedes kind of sweetened the deal and pushed me over the edge to come out here. But I'm here now. The Lincoln's here. Slightly bummed out about the front bumper, but what are you going to do? So we're going to hook it up. We're going to drag it out of this garage. And we're going to drag it 1,100 miles home. The probably most expensive 97 Lincoln Town Car that I'd ever buy that doesn't run. <laughs> so...
We are locked and loaded. Lincoln Town Car is on the trailer. I feel awful. The roads are obviously covered in this car. It's been in a garage. This is a time when I definitely wish I had an enclosed transporter or trailer. But when I get it back, we'll get it all washed up. We'll get it all cleaned up. We're gonna probably drive as far as we can uh, and you know, stay somewhere tonight. It's 15 hours back home, 1,100 miles. At this point, it'd be too late to do the whole trip. Um, but we'll see how far we get and uh, see what kind of road conditions we walk ourselves into. Buy a Mercedes. German cars just aren't for me, I guess. All right, so we're loaded. I that car behind us is just getting plastered, plastered. I feel so bad. But my truck and the trail is getting plastered. Obviously, when I get back, we'll get it all washed up, under carriage wash. I got a little wash thing that goes under the cars. But. We just got outside of Chicago, and now we're coming up by, I think, the top of Indiana, the bottom of the uh, Lake Michigan, and look at what we're dealing with now. It is snowing like crazy. The camera doesn't really pick it up. Oh, no, wow, look at it. It does pick it up. Slightly concerned on what's going on here. I don't know if this is like lake effect snow, but Papa Bear's at the helm. We're taking our time. We're gonna get home when we get home, but that car is just, oh my goodness. What the hell is that? I don't know, it looks like it's like an old rusty something. Yeah, like an old I like army that trail or something. It's like a, I have no idea what that is. Like an old army jeep. I don't know. See that up there? That's the moon. <laughs> It looks like it's on fire. Yet it's snowing like crazy out. That's so cool. Good morning, YouTube world. Just ready to end this video. We got in late last night, 2,200 miles, put on the truck uh, to go to Wisconsin, Chicago, and all the way back. And my truck just, you probably saw the live video, my truck got destroyed. I'm gonna spend the whole day today inside the bay there uh, where I left the truck, and I'm gonna give it a nice wash down, undercarriage, everything. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, I want to thank everybody for watching. Um, it was a great trip. Uh, you know, I had a great time. We met really great people. You know, that's one of the downfalls that I do have that most of the cars that I sell, I never meet the people that I sell them to. Or sometimes when I buy them from far away, I don't meet the people I buy them from. And in this case, I met both the buyer of my Seville, who had bought um, f uh, three other cars for me last summer. Um, he bought the white 93 Fleetwood with the cranberry top. I don't know where that bird came from. Kind of scary. 
uh, the baby blue 97 town car with the white top and then the white 04 town car with the cranberry top just it was great to meet him super nice people I'm so blessed uh, like my dad said in the live video we're so blessed to have people like that as far as the Mercedes um, I am going to talk to the seller and see if I can rehome that car for him I'm not interested um, it's just it's too far for me to do I don't know Mercedes well enough but anyways one last thing I'm gonna add obviously this car needs to get started to get running before anything happens to it so I know my inbox is gonna get blown up with people who want to buy this car it's not going to be for sale for a little while. I, already, I obviously have to get this car going. But I do have another 1997 Lincoln Town car coming in from Houston, Texas. And when I tell you this car is brand new, very unique, it's, it's got a very unique uh, build date to the car. Uh, could be one of the last 97 Lincoln Town cars ever made. Uh, you're going to want to see that. That car is going to be for sale, and that's turnkey, ready to go. Uh, new tires, new ball joints, everything's already been done, ready to go. So tune in for that as well. I'll show you the video of it as soon as it gets here. Should be in about a week or so. Anyways, thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll talk to you next time.